Israel's flag being set on fire. Images like these are quite familiar in the Middle East, where Israel maintains Arab land under its occupation. The heat only goes up and down depending on whether Israeli troops kill a few Palestinians every day, or the Israeli army decides to massacre hundreds in, say, 22 days. But it is not only Arabs and Muslims protesting against the situation in the Middle East. Dozens of Jewish people have been holding a 24-hour protest outside the building housing the offices of the World Zionist Organization and the Jewish Agency in New York City. The first message they try to get across is that there is a difference between Israeli politics and being a Jew. And even though the Israeli lobby is almighty strong in the United States, that does not mean every Jew agrees with whatever Israel may be up to. Our voices need to be heard um, as Jews. Uh, I think there's a, a there's a, um, a, a mis uh, that's kind of a, a, a misunderstanding in this country that all Jews in this country are pro-Israeli. And although I think they are a very vociferous, um, aggressive voice, um, it's far from all the Jews in this country. The second message the protesters try to convey about the situation in Palestinian territories is that What is going on is that the Israelis are controlling Palestinians in the West Bank under occupation. They must pull back, they must give the Palestinians some self-determination or this will go on forever and ever. The organizers of the protests say the demonstrators come from varied backgrounds. Ironically, some of them are Holocaust survivors or children of survivors. And finally, those who are more creative, find alternative ways of describing what's happening between Palestinians and Israelis. The USA is funding Israel's big banks, month bomb curfews, checkpoint lines when settlers attack, they get off every time, demolishing homes, cutting olive trees, and Israel does this in the name of peace? 